Lesson 11, learning to use aperture priority mode. Aperture priority mode is the favourite mode for many photographers who have not yet learned to use manual mode and discovered the joys of doing this. Aperture priority mode is great because it can help you learn to understand your camera better and exposure better as you're learning photography. It is less complicated than using manual mode, but in this mode your camera is still in control of the exposure. Using this mode, you set the aperture and the camera sets the shutter speed. The aperture is a hole in the camera lens that works very much like the iris in our eyes that can open and close depending on how much light there is. F-stop numbers are used to measure the size of the hole and the basic rule of thumb here is that the lower the f-stop number the more light will enter the lens because that indicates a larger size hole. A higher number indicates a smaller size hole and less light entering the camera. When you set the aperture and take a photograph the camera will automatically adjust the shutter speed to allow as much light as is necessary as it's programmed to do to enter the camera to make a photo. The aperture setting you choose also influences what's called the depth of field. This is how much of your photo is in focus. You may not be familiar with depth of field if you've been using only your phone to take photos with up till now. Because with phones, the sensors and the lenses are so small, it's this depth of field phenomenon doesn't actually occur very much. Because when you take a photo with your phone, most all of the image is always in focus. And this is why phones now have special features that can fake the blurring of a background, because it's such a popular thing to do. But because of the physical limitations in a phone, you can't actually create images with a shallow depth of field the same way that you can using your camera. Using your camera you must always be aware of how your aperture setting affects the depth of field. That means that it affects how much of the image is going to be in focus. So the higher your f-stop number, the narrower the opening in the lens, the more of your photo will be in focus. Using a wide aperture setting, that's a low f-stop number, very little of your composition might be in focus. This depends somewhat on the lens you're using, how you set it, and also on your camera. Don't worry if it's a little bit confusing at this stage, there's more teaching to come on this subject in lessons 25 and 26 of this course. Aperture priority is generally really good to use for static subjects because you're in control of the aperture and the camera can adjust the shutter speed it's not so vital as when you're photographing a moving subject. We'll cover more about shutter speed in the next lesson. Lesson 11, practical exercise, learning to use aperture priority. In this exercise, you'll learn about using your camera set in aperture priority mode and how your aperture setting influences both the exposure and the depth of field in the photos that you take. Find a static subject to photograph. Set your camera to aperture priority mode and set your aperture to the widest setting, that's the lowest f-stop number. And with your zoom set to the widest angle of view, take a few photos. And then zoom in closer and take some more photos. Now set your aperture so it's somewhere in the middle of the range of your f-stops for the lens that you're using. It'll be somewhere around f11. And take another series of photos, some with the widest angle, some closer up. And as you're doing this, don't forget to take some notes about what your aperture settings are and what shutter speed settings the camera is choosing. Then set your aperture so that it's on the narrowest setting, on my lens it's f22, and take another series of photos. You may want to put your camera on a tripod or a firm surface for this because your shutter speeds will be a lot slower. Compare the photos on your computer. Look at the exposure and look also at the depth of field, how much of each of these photos is in focus.
Can you see the difference when you use the widest aperture and when you use the narrowest aperture? The main points from this lesson are Aperture priority is often the mode of choice for photographers who have not yet learned to use manual mode. In aperture priority mode, your camera will automatically set the shutter speed. Aperture priority is good to use with static subjects. Practice this to improve your photography. Check the shutter speed when you're taking photos using aperture priority to make sure that it is not too slow.